It is being called a takeover robbery. Employees at a White Center pot shop were forced to the ground and held at gunpoint while crooked what they could. Cairo 7's Joanna Small is live at the store with surveillance video. And Joanna, walk us through what happened. Well, Steve, Star 21 is not an easy target. It's on a pretty busy stretch of First Avenue. You can see there's a convenience store right next to it that's always open, and you've got bars on the window. But these thieves came at a very slow time, 10 minutes before closing, and at that point, the door was still unlocked. It could be random. It could be a customer. You know, I mean, when it comes to money and and, pro and marijuana. People will only do anything just to get it. Last night, anything meant terrifying, then terrorizing Maria Williams' two employees inside Star 21. These four masked and armed men burst through the door, then jumped the counter, forcing the two women behind it to the floor. They grabbed cash from the register, stole product, and led one of the employees into the back to access the safe. The employees reported to us that when the males entered the store, that at least one of them fired some shots off in the air prior to entering. The business. Um, we are still investigating that. Police say the foursome was in and out of Star 21 in just a few minutes. You know, we're very thankful that nobody was injured in this situation um, because that's always something you fear, especially when suspects come in with guns and who knows what what their ultimate motive is in this. But in this one, it looks like it was to steal money and, and some of the merchandise and then leave. That doesn't make it any less frightening for the two people they robbed. Honestly, I hope you guys get what's coming to you. We talked with one of those employees about what I can only imagine was a terrifying experience. Believe it or not, this is actually the second time she's been robbed at gunpoint. You'll hear from her at 6 o'clock. But for now, live in White Center, Joanna Small, Cairo 7 News.